federal class action ideas. Now rolling around. I, instead of writing notes, here goes. One of the parts of this for me, when I was young, Pilgrim Nuclear Plant was being built. I can remember the promises about the sciences that these things were going to bring and how great and wonderful a future this was going to bring to us, this technology. And in that contract, in almost every single contract for a nuclear plant, and these are pretty well common federal contracts, your state's rights are bullshit and you know that. So the... You do know that, right? So this state's rights conversation about pollution is bullshit. So, federal class action. The nuclear industry, to my mind, now I'm 62 now, so when I was that big, there were those promises. They stood out. Science, we're going to learn about the world and the future, and this is going to bring it, and yay, nuclear. Um... But this is one of the dead ends. It was one of those dead end promises that they probably never meant to fulfill. Or maybe some of the good people then did and had an idea, but uh, somebody else had a different idea. Because the truth about nuclear hurts everybody. It's a matter of how much. It's not a matter of if. It's, it, it, if you bring a zero conversation into nuclear, it's a tell that you don't you're not in your league. You're trying to divert the conversation to something else that, that is uh, a non sequitur or a sequitur, but it's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the truth of nuclear. It's percentages. It is when you're born now. Depending on where you're born, you have a higher risk of a short life because of pollution, our man-made pollution. We half understand what the Earth does, right? Volcanoes and smoke and gas and oil and everything else. So this class action lawsuit needs to cover what we know is behind the doors. The science is that is owed to America. Not me. They don't know me shit. You don't know me nothing. But it is owed to my grandchildren. I owe my grandkid these conversations and maybe you do too so class action lawsuit very specific we want the information that you have mr federal government that you have allowed to be put behind paywalls you have forced to be put behind paywalls your nuclear plants in every state did not bring the sciences to your states that is obvious that is darn obvious and the reason for that is, make up a story. Stick some friggin' crazy word in there when there's real words that describe all of this stuff. Nuclear is bad enough by itself. Nuclear has nothing to do, has little to do with airplanes flying, okay? The cost of harvesting and building nuclear fuel rods is multiple, multiple energy generating plants. The processing takes huge amounts of power. A nuclear plant has to have another plant supplying backup emergency electricity because if it does happen, it's dangerous. A small modular reactor is going to have this exact same thing. We have Trump's organized crime family and a whole bunch of Republicans and Democrats watching them selling, giving nuclear technology to Saudi Arabia, giving them a weapons cache to protect that nuclear reactor that we're going to give them, right? See, this, oh, man, be scared. They have nuclear and someone's going to attack them. Remember when uh, North Korea was going to attack us and still is going to attack us and these, we simply put, can take a, a small nation off the planet. We can make it a hole in the ground. That we have to even talk like this is friggin' childish. This is high school. This is junior high school. 
debate, right? Should we drop nuclear bombs or not? True, false, Plato. Give me, let me pull up. sorry, I'm going off. And that's what happens in these conversations. Even I have to be kept on topic because there are very real specific topics. I say there's enough to shut this shit down today. You say something different. But yeah, I'm going to go here. My friends that do watch, I know no Kevin Blanche. I love Kevin. Kevin's more than half right. That part I'm behind 200% so that other percent I can overlook the rest of Kevin's passions and all of his friends. <laughs> so, you know, when you've walked in others' shoes, when you've lived outside your own state, when you've lived in many states, when you've traveled, it gives you a different perspective. It doesn't make you any friggin' smarter. It gives you a lot of knowledge. Knowledge isn't smarts. Knowledge isn't IQ. Sorry, I'm back. See, that, that subtle topic stuff is what would throw this off. So this is where the lawyers, this is where people that know how to focus on the correct text and verbiage matter. This is where the scientists that speak well to this. This is where even someone like Dr. Busby supporting the idea gets us on a road. Fair wins. Deeply respected. His, his work was lost on everybody. I, I'm amazed. He is one of the people that helped keep this industry at bay, helped keep the public conscious that these bastards were just sitting, waiting for the next door to open, and that's a generational change. But oddly, I'm looking for the same generational change. By the time I'm gone, I hope we have the smartest nation on the planet again. Again, I state Somehow, nuclear sciences, nuclear power, actually subtracted from our conversation about where we can go, the potential that we have as a people. Um, you know, why don't we have the Jetsons cars? I'm confused. <laughs> but not really. So, there it is. I'm going to say it again class action lawsuit, a federal class action lawsuit filed in multiple states maybe, because this beef is with our federal government, not with state governments. Maybe the states should get behind us and support these class action suits, eh? I don't know how to build this. There's too many disparate voices out there in too many different directions. I can't support deep faith groups, but I will. I'll stand right next to them right next to them but you can tell from these conversations some beliefs are being abetted are being paid for so that we can't talk about our future oh my god we, we're talking about uh, we're not talking about taking care of the living we're talking about I don't know what what I don't know what this pro-life debate, the, the pro-death, what the fuck is that? What is that in our politics? How did we get there? How did we get back to there? Remember Twiggy and she wore shorts? Oh my God, and a flying nun, right? Who didn't want that? All right, the class action, focus, focus on the prize. There's enough of us out and around here now, besides all the side bullshit that focus I can speak to measurements I have the uh, a bit of it just a bit huge huge this is this is a bunch of good people a bunch of bad people that's life class actions how what focus how do we get it all together so everybody's on the same page when they sign would it be just about knowledge and understanding? Would it be class action for money? 
I don't know. To me, it would be right next to the kids' climate actions. It's a tendril of the climate actions. It's forcing a legitimate conversation about life cycles across generations. And I'm thinking of tens, hundreds, thousands of generations. This is how nuclear storage is assessed generational impacts but what you never see is the cost the extended costs to civilization for this it's not your state your state's rights have been made a joke a laughing stock it gave you the right to have a state next to you marry 12 year olds and guess how I wonder what the ratio of boy 12 year olds marrying versus female 12 year olds marrying States rights, man, build the wall, MAGA MAGA. Oh, and I used to like orange. <laughs>